So we're gonna play with our humidity today. Just installed a new two and a half ton uh, heat pump at my house. Um, it's been working great and comfortable. I actually programmed my thermostat to dehumidify, which only allows it to cool up to three de degrees below my set point to allow it to dehumidify. So I've made some more adjustments to see if we could do a little more here. I'm showing about 65 percent. Showing 72 there and 62 percent humidity. I trust these a little more. But there's uh, my dehumidifier set point at 55. So I'll take you downstairs and show you on the furnace what I did to try to help with this. So this is our furnace setup. Uh, like I said, I got to uh, put a heat pump in. I got a scratch and dent. Uh, pretty good price from United. It's an Arco Air. This thing's been working great, but uh, basically we, hold, we got a whole lot going on here. Good luck to the first residential service guy that gets to try to figure all this out. <laughs> So, um, humidifier installed, I don't know, a year or two ago. Um, we got the new one returned from the old one. You can see back there the old true steam. But, uh, so my theory is I want to slow my blower speed down to help reduce the humidity. So, I'm going to have a colder evaporator with a lower blower speed and it's going to allow me to draw more moisture out of the air because the air is going to move across the evaporator slower. So right now we're running about 20 degree temperature drop, 5.9 pounds an hour dehumid. Um, here's my blower chart here. Uh, gray is my cooling speed, high speed cooling. So I'm running about 1185. It's all going to depend on static pressure, which I was just looking at my speeds, not really concerned about my static. Um, and then orange is the other one we're going to use, so we're going to drop it down to about 855 CFM. Um, so my humidifier came with a Humid Pro thermostat, which I didn't need because it's controlled with my equipment interface module. So if you're wondering, my other relay here, um, I put in a thermostat on the other side of this wall for the basement. And that 9340 relay just controls this actuator here. So does not control the equipment, just controls that actuator to allow the, the basement to get heat or cool, whatever the main thermostat's calling for. So, I just wired 24 volt power, and then this has a humid humidity terminal, which is just a, a dry contact, basically. So it closes when it calls for humidity. Right now we're not calling. Um, showing about 60% humidity. So to lower my blower speed, we installed a rib relay. These things are dual voltage, 120, 24 volt. Uh, good for just about everything. Um, so what I've done is, if you can see that, we've got uh, 24 volts is gonna come in on this side, white and blue and white and yellow is common. And then we're gonna do our blower speed with our normally open, normally closed contact there. So. You can see, uh, white and yellow is common. So, that common, going to that. And then white and blue is my 24 volts. Which is right here. So I'm sending red power. 
power through this wire up to the normally open contact on the dehumid thermostat. So it's going to close that contact when it calls for dehumid. And it's going to put red power through to the relay to energize the relay. And that in turn is 24 volts to my relay and then my contacts are going to change so yellow is common blue is normally closed so at a normal cooling call we've got our cooling wire this gray wire here and it's going to run into our common which is yellow and our normally closed degrees split which is good I gotta hook my flue pipe up we got return UV we got the roomy halo on the supply and now we got dehumid control so let's see here turn it down say 50% should hear a click there it goes relay energized Hear the blower speed slow down. And my temp split is going to rise. Along with my dehumid. So this should help dry out the air so it's been running for about an hour I started about 65 percent humidity it's been comfortable but I just wanted to try to run the humidity down a little more and as you can see the lower airflow the temp splits coming up about 24 degrees and I'm getting more dehumidification out of my unit. So, we'll see how this does. Let me know what you think.